Doctors are discovering COVID survivors are not necessarily fully recovering. Some patients are in it for the long haul, developing chronic conditions like POTS. Two Works for You, Sarah Pizarro looks into the research on the connection between the syndrome and COVID. POTS. It's a dysautonomia disorder and is what some COVID long haulers are being diagnosed with. POTS is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Andrea Reyes started experiencing POTS at age 17. Painting, heat intolerance, blood pooling. There are a plethora of symptoms associated with POTS. Basically, these patients have increased heart rate uh, when they stand up. A normal heart rate is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Reyes was reaching 180 to 200. And no idea how you got this syndrome. Yes, um, no, no idea whatsoever. A team at the University of Oklahoma where Reyes was diagnosed discovered antibodies are one of the reasons POTS patients experience increased heart rates when standing. Standing up. OU's contribution to, to this disease, to understanding this disease is huge. They're also conducting clinical studies on POTS patients and testing treatments. We're hoping to find a new non-invasive way of uh, ameliorating the symptoms of POTS. Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. There's no cure for POTS yeah, yet. That so could change as more case reports are released showing COVID patients later developing the syndrome. It is real. It's, it's more than one case report that have been um, reported. I hate that people are being diagnosed with it, but I, I do really like that we're getting a lot more awareness and people are starting to see that this is something that is worthy of studying and um, hopefully finding a cure. <laughs> OU isn't currently studying the correlation between POTS and COVID, but they say the syndrome is one of many ways COVID affects the heart. I'm Sierra Pizarro, two works for you.